Lightning delayed the start of day two of the Gloria Jeans Coffees New South Wales Open. Two and a half hours later, the morning session got underway under a glimmer of sunlight. Ryan Fox picked up where he left off yesterday with this birdie on the fourth. Fell away slightly but remains in touch with the lead heading into the weekend. Always drawing a crowd, the tournament veterans Nico Hearn and Peter O'Malley kept the punters entertained despite not quite setting the course on fire. Playing alongside them, leading New South Wales amateur and national squad member Cameron Davis, who shot seven birdies to finish the day at four under. Oh, it was a great experience to see how two seasoned professionals really get their way around the course and, and they manage the conditions. Yeah, it was good fun as well. West Australian Kim Felton found his touch on the greens and remains in a positive position for tomorrow's play. James Nitty's backed up his first round performance with another solid day of play. The web.com player impressive on the 18th, his ninth hole with this meticulously judged approach shot, almost holing out for an eagle. Driver in hand on the 7th, causing a little back strain, but not enough to prevent him joining Ashley Hall in the lead at 9 under. Hall 2 had a solid round, the 30-year-old Victorian coming off a fine performance at the Australian PGA Championship finishing 6 had a great tee shot on the par 3 fourth using the slope of the green to set up this birdie, one of five for the day. But Lightning halted play late in the day with the joint leaders left with half a hole each to play. Currently I'm sitting on the ninth green which is my last, uh, it would be nice to get out of there and two putt and I'd be back home watching the cricket but uh, a little frustrating we've got to wait around for the rain delay and uh, it's still a good spot to be in for the tournament. And what about you Ash? Um, I'm on my last the 18th, um, hit my tee shot and I could have reached the green in two but I can't now, uh, that's a shame but um, no wind, no wind anymore. <laughs> but yeah tomorrow morning might be okay as well. As the rain bucketed down, play was eventually suspended. It's due to resume early tomorrow to clear the backlog before round three begins.